something in here. Oh, there's something in here. I didn't know that there was stuff in here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do I have? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Ever So Sweetly. Um, I hope that you guys all had an absolutely beautiful Christmas. We did, we went over to um, my mom's house and we spent the night on Christmas Eve and then we all had Christmas morning together and it was really nice and calm, except I felt bad because my poor Evangeline, well all of us are sick, I don't know if you can hear me and excuse my sniffles, but um, she just didn't, she just felt sick and she just didn't really, like she wasn't up to wanting to open gifts and everything, so we had to wait <laughs> like until way later on in the day um after she had had a couple naps in order for her to be like excited to open presents so that was eh, kind of not the best but she ended up having a really nice time so yeah um it was really good so in today's video i'm gonna show you guys um i think i don't know if it's absolutely everything but a lot of what i got for christmas especially because i ended up having like such a BTS Christmas. I got so many BTS and BT21 things and I just felt like I had to share. And other than that, I just got really nice stuff. I feel like I always get really nice stuff because my, my husband and my family are like very, um, like in tune with the things that I like. So, you know, they try to get me things that I like and they always do a good job. So I always have really nice Christmas. Um, but this year it was so bts -y and it's just amazing. So I just wanted to share it with you guys because I know that there's a lot of you out there who are also BTS ARMY. So why not? Let's get excited about this stuff together. Alright, so to start off, the very first Christmas present that I got this year was actually an early Christmas present. And it was on Amanda's birthday, which is December 7th. But my sister brought it over <laughs> and I got that on, Chris on his birthday, my first Christmas present. No, I take that back. My first Christmas present this year was actually on Thanksgiving because we started a new tradition. I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram or anywhere, like these people do this thing called a porky pie and like they make this big pie, it looks like a big pie and inside of it is Christmas gifts for everybody and it's like a little gift. And then everybody like pulls on ribbons, the pie kind of bursts open and then your Christmas present, your first Christmas present of the season is in there and it's just like something small. So. That was actually my first Christmas present. I didn't bring that one in here, but I'm gonna go get it because that's also BTS. Okay, so my very first Christmas present was the porcupine gift. And it was it was one of these, which I just got another one for Christmas. So I guess I'll show this one first. Um, but it was one of these. And when I opened it up, I got this little RJ. There we go. So that was my first Christmas present. And then my second early Christmas present was on Amanda's birthday and that was from Jenny and that was this let me grab it this um tiny tan sugar cup which is right here I, I brought it in here so I can show you guys how cute is that I don't know oh man but you can't see the okay so I got this box let's see hey there we go there he is there's a little sugar on this cute little acrylic cup so those are my first two Christmas gifts and they were both BTS themed we got my little RJ and my sugar cup. Okay, so continuing on with the BTS theme, you guys already saw that I received another one of these little blind boxes, this BT21 blind box. These are the four possibilities for this one. And I have to apologize to my sisters right now because I have a feeling that I'm gonna mix up who gave me what. And if I do that, I'm sorry. But I think this was from Becca. So I'm gonna show you guys the one that came in here. I got Koya. Look at how cute he is with his little swim trunks. I love blind boxes and especially BT21 ones. I also got in my stocking, Emmanuel gave me a BT21 surprise blind bag of a pin and I threw the bag away unfortunately, but this is the pin that I got in there. Also Koya, sleeping and looking cute. Because I got another surprise box from Tallulah she gave me this one. Oh, okay. there we go. The BT21 Tiger Box. These are so cute. I already have one. I have um, the RJ one. But these are all, all of them. Look at how cute that they look in their little tiger costumes. So this I got from Tallulah. And I told her I'm hoping to get the full collection of all seven of them. So it was good that I got a different one. I got 
Koya again. Look at how cute he looks. So cute. <laughs> His big old head. Um, so now I have two out of seven of these. So I definitely want to try to get the rest of them because I think it would be so cute to have the whole collection because they look adorable. Look at how cute they look. But it was, and Tallulah said, it was a very Koya Christmas, which it really was because all of my surprise stuff, the three surprise things that I got for actual Christmas, like on Christmas day, were all Koya. And super cute. Unfortunately for me, no Shooky, but that's okay, because these are all adorable. All right, so continuing on, in my stocking, Emmanuel gave me two BTS stickers, which I just thought was the cutest. <laughs> I just think that's so cute that he just added little stick BTS stickers to my stocking. So I got, this little JK and then this V sticker and it was cute because he said I I said I was surprised that he even knew like you know who's BTS and who wasn't and he said it's because he had to ask the employee at the store he was like is this BTS <laughs> and the employee was like yeah so I did end up getting BTS stickers in my stocking all right moving on more BT21 my mom gave my sisters and I each um, this BT21 box of playing cards which is super cute because the cards themselves have uh, BT21 characters on them how cute are those and I told her like I don't I'm gonna take this out of the, the box but I'm just gonna just display this tin because look at how cute is that that's adorable and she also gave us I'm trying to keep myself organized because there's a lot of it she also gave us this BT21 puzzle but you guys know, puzzles are ugh, one of my favorite things to do and collect. Um, I was trying not to buy myself any more puzzles for a while because I haven't done one in a while and Amanda was like, you need to do a puzzle before you buy another puzzle. And I thought, you know what, that's fair. So I haven't been buying any. So I'm super excited and happy that my mom got me this one. It's 250 pieces, which means it's gonna be a nice, fun, easy puzzle to do. This is what the complete puzzle looks like. And then again, it's in this really cute tin, so I'm going to display this on my shelf after I do it. Or before and then after I do it. I kind of wish that, I kind of want to use the tin to like save stuff in, but I don't want to put the puzzle in something else. Cause wouldn't that be cute to have like a BT21 tin that I like keep stuff in? What would I keep in it? Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna display this one because it's adorable. Okay, so I'm looking at all of my stuff right here because I have all my stuff like set aside so I can grab it and show you. I have so much BTS stuff and it's making me so happy. All right, so moving on. Emmanuel got me this beautiful little sugar butter pop. How cute is this? Like he's got the little, can you see? Can you guys see? I'm trying to get my face out of it. The little like, movie clacker thing. Look at how cute is he, like his little part in his hair. So cute. And I just, I just love that Emmanuel like supports my fandom stuff, which he always has. I just, I don't know, I just love it. So he, he got me this and I'm so happy and I'm so excited there he is. So excited. I can't decide if I'm gonna display him in the box or out of the box because that's always my dilemma. But he will be on my shelf too. Okay, so Jen, I know this was from Jen. She got me this vintage retro sugar key ring, which says sugar on it. And I'm gonna use this for my work key and I'm gonna keep it in my work bag. I got another key ring. This one is from Becca and this one's gonna go on my car keys. And it is, I just can't, like it's so cute. So it says, it has obviously BTS logo, BTS purple, and it says drive safe. BTS loves you. How cute is this? This is like the perfect, the perfect little keychain. This is gonna go on my keys because you know it's gonna remind me to drive safe. Because BTS loves me. I just love that so much. I'm having difficulty remembering who gave me what. And I don't wanna say the wrong person in the video. Do I call and ask who gave me what? Or do I just guess and hope I'm right? I'm gonna call and ask. I don't wanna say the wrong person. 
all right so i'm good i have been right about everything so far and i've got the rest of it figured out so which one did i just do i did my keychains okay so um becca gave me some more bt21 stuff she gave me a lot of it actually like this whole pile like a whole pile of stuff so i got three three bt21 ballpoint pens which i hope you guys can see the characters because they're super cute this one is like the little pool one this one like a dream one and then this one has like the little like cherry blossom he was focusing on my face and I, I can't show you guys what i've got cherry blossom ones the little dream one it's kind of hard to see because there's like the stickers on there too much and then the little like pool one super cute i'm gonna use these for work too she got me this little magnet set with shooky how cute is he and the little flower oh, so cute i'm trying to decide where i'm gonna put them i don't know but somewhere i got this adorable little pen pouch which i will keep in my work bag with my pens so cute i just love it so much and i love that it's just like light pink and pretty and they all look so cute on the front so she got me that she got me what is that chocolate i think i got chocolate on the package don't look at the chocolate <laughs> i'll cover that she got me these bookmarks, which are fantastic because I love reading. And then it has um, Shooky, obviously my bias, and then JK, who's like my number two. I mean, not that I don't like these ones also, but I'm just happy that I have those two. I got this collection of BT21 little stickers, which I'm planning on um, decorating my planner this year because Jen my other sister decorates her planner and she just showed it to me recently and it just looks so cute and fun and happy and every time that i have stickers i always never know exactly what to do with them but now i feel like that's the perfect thing to do with them like you use them in the planner why not do that so that's what i'm going to be using these for i'm going to use those pens for my when i'm running in my planner too like that's perfect i got this little notebook which i might use as a youtube idea notebook because look at how inspiring is this this is like super inspiring and pretty and cute oh i just love it so much so i got that little cherry blossom one and then this also this is assorted uh sticker sheet with the cherry blossom designs on it as well again, again i'm gonna use that in my planner so i got a lot of fun stuff to get inspired and used for work I still have more look at all that bts stuff i've gotten and showed you so far i still have like ha that was like half so this is one of my absolute favorite things you guys oh my goodness jenny got me this photo card set from the sugar august d tour the d-day tour that we went to and i'm gonna leave a link to the vlog from that day because literally that was just like the perfect most amazing experience i loved that so much and that really 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 kicked in the bts army for me like really kicked it in for me um but yeah so she gave me these photo cards and i have to show you a couple because they're just so nice the only thing is i don't have a photo card holder but now i have a reason to get one of those so look at these cards so first of all on the back it has like the d-day um artwork design but look at this like I just can't obviously I'm not going to show you every single one because there's so many in here but are you kidding me these are amazing maybe I will show you everyone no I'm not I can't I can't do that because that's just going to take like way too much time unless I just go quick I don't know do you want to see everyone no you probably don't look at <gasps> they're so amazing look at them smiling which one do I stop on I'll stop right here okay but these are all just fan fantastic I don't even know like how you could pick one to put in a photo card and display i feel like i would have to change it out every day those are amazing so super happy one of my favorite favorite gifts that i got so this jen gave me also she gave um each of us one of these i can't decide if i'm gonna take this plastic off and actually open this or not because i just feel like it's like a super collectible because oh man no i need i need her to tell you what it's from because she knows and I don't. I'm gonna call her and have her tell you what it's from. I wonder if she would answer FaceTime. I don't know, it's kinda mean to just FaceTime and say, hey, be on my video. I'm gonna FaceTime her, but she doesn't have to be on the video. 
Hello. Hi. I pulled an all-nighter with Tallulah. Now I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I forgot you did that. So I'm oh. filming right this second. Don't put me in your video. Okay, so what I would like you to tell them, because I could not, I, I have no idea. Uh -huh. What is this from? Okay, so at the Hybe building, which is BTS's record label in Seoul, they have like an exhibition space, and that was one of the exhibition, um, Hybe Insight was one of the, the first exhibition they did where they like did some displays related to a bunch of their artists, um, showcasing what Hype is all about. And um, obviously the star of it was BTS because BTS is their their um, largest artist for mm -hmm. one. So that set of photo cards is specifically for the exhibition Hype Insight that was at the Hype building in Seoul. Very cool. So that's why, these, that's why I have these still in the plastic. I can't decide if I'm taking them out. Should I open them? I should yeah. open them. Yeah. I'll open them. Alright, thanks, Judge. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye. That was good of her. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. Also, I brought you guys a little bit higher up. I think that might be better. Oh my gosh. I'm a little bit scared about it. I was gonna save them like this, but but why not enjoy things, right? And if I leave it closed, I'm not gonna be able to look at any of these cards. And that would not be enjoying it. I feel like Evangelini has helped me out a lot with that because like I always like to save things like in their packaging and you know not mess it up but with her if I give her like a pack of stickers immediately she'll just start taking them off and like sticking them on whatever you know um and she doesn't use them in like any kind of you know super meaningful way but she had a ton of fun using them and she just used them and it was fun so I feel like I'm gonna be more like that. I'm gonna do. More, I'm gonna be more like that this year. So let's open these babies up and see what we got. I love that they made this look like a cassette. Do you guys remember cassettes? Like, were you from the era where you actually used a cassette? We used them a little bit, but mainly, um, like mainly my mom had cassettes. All right. So on the back, they all have this like blue. And you can see the logo. Let's look at the cards. Here we go. Where did... Oh. There we go. <laughs> there's the first one. Oh, yes. There's the favorite. Do they make... They do, right? They make, like, photo card holders, don't they? To where you can, like, look at it, like, as if it was a photo album and just flip through them all and look at all your photo cards. All right. So, I opened them. And I'm glad I did because they all look really nice. And it's nice to get to look through them. I wanted to put them back in the same order, but I don't think I did. Oh, I swear, the OCD is real. Okay, so I got those from Jen, and they're amazing. Oh, I forgot one of the case. There's also that one. Oh, the sound, you guys hear that sound of the, like, stutter from squeaking as I try to put it back in this case? Oh, that was terrible, I hated that. Ugh. Okay, so also from Jen. How cool is he? So I've got this little tiny tan plush. All right, I've got him open. So he's cool because he has like a magnetic bottom. Well, I mean, he's cool anyway, but oh, look at that, it says shook on the bottom. So he's he's got a magnetic bottom, so he'll sit on this. So like if you put him on your clothes, which I wanna do this, but with my babies, I'm kind of scared to like actually use him. Cause I was thinking, oh, I could take him to the park. Cause you know how people have like, you know, park care. Look at that. There he is, my little bud, my little buddy sugar. Um, but you know how people take like characters into the Disney parks. I was thinking I could take him, but I'm kind of scared of my kids like knocking him off my shoulder. And like, what if I didn't realize and then he's just lost? That would be terrible. Let's see how he does. Like maybe like while I finish filming this video, we'll see how he how he stays up there. Okay. I think I have gone through all of my BTS gifts, except for this last one, which I got from Becca. And so just to, to get you excited, there's a straw on the back. And on the top, it says Minyoungi. So I opened that and I saw it. It said Minyoungi. If you open it up, inside there's another sticker. It says Army Emotional Support Cup. And when you take this bad boy out of here, 
Look at this. Let me take the plastic off. You can see it better. Look at that. That is a Minyungi cup. That is so cool. So it's just like one of these stainless steel tumbler cups. Oh wait, there's something in here. Oh, there's something in here. I didn't know that there was stuff in here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do I have? I have a BT21 Christmas sticker. This super cool sticker is glittery and it says future's gonna be okay. That's amazing. I have one of the D-Day photo cards that I got in that um, set Judge gave me. I have an extra one of these, what the heck? And then this is where, this is the shop that she got this from. So there's a QR code. If you guys want to go get one of your own, this was cool. Go ahead and scan that and go there. What the heck? I didn't realize it had extra stuff inside. But yeah, look at look at this cup. Like how cool is this? I'm debating because right now I have this really pretty like pink, like the Stanley Cup style cup with the handle that I take my water to work in. But I might switch it up and take it in this. I could alternate. I like both of them. Maybe I'll put this sticker on my pink one. And then I can always have a little bit of Minigi with me. Okay, so that's it for all of my BTS gifts. I say that's it. That's a lot. I got a lot of BTS stuff. Which, like, I'm just so happy because BTS makes me so happy. And I just feel like now I'm going into this brand new year with all of these, like, amazing BTS things. And it's just going to add to my enjoyment of my life, especially now that I get to use like my BTS, my BT21 pens when I write in my, in my, um, cal in my calendar. I get to use my stickers all over my planner. Oh, I get to use my new BTS keychains. This is amazing. Okay, so other fandom -y stuff that I got other than BTS was I got, and thankfully, because if I did not get this, I swear I would be so sad. My mom got me the third illustrated Harry Potter, the, um, what is it called? Why can't I think of what it's called? Mina Lima version. And obviously I'm collecting these. I have the other two and now I have this one, which I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I have this. But yeah, so I got this for Jeji for Christmas and thankfully my mom also got it for me because I'd be so sad if I didn't have it. But the funny thing was, is that Emmanuel actually also got me this for Christmas as well um, he didn't realize that she got it and she didn't realize that he got it so we're gonna take his back and then I'm gonna get a different present in place of this one from him so I still have that to look forward to but Emmanuel also got me this it is a magical world of Disney trivia game with 2,000 questions this is like the game board how it looks it has these little like moving pieces where do they go there they are the little movers and it's just Disney trivia, which is always so much fun for me. Um, I'm sure we're gonna do another live and have some more Disney trivia fun because that was really fun last time. So hopefully you guys can join me and we can have a fun Disney trivia game together. That would be really cool. Also from Emmanuel, he got me, oh my sniffles. So Emmanuel got me an Apple Watch. I'm so excited because I have been really, really, really wanted one, wanting one. Um, I started working as doing wedding coordinating and event coordinating and I just feel like being able to have the Apple Watch like to see like when if someone calls or if I, if I get a text and like see who it is before having to actually pull up my phone and you know being able to reply with my watch would be so much easier so I've been telling him that and telling him that and he got it for me for Christmas I'm super excited this is the one that I got colored one and yeah, so he set it up for me already, but I haven't used it yet. I'm really excited to get to use that, and I'm so happy that he got that for me for Christmas. So I got that from him. Okay, I think that's the rest of like my fandom -y stuff. So let's move on to some jewelry. So in my stocking, Emmanuel gave me these two different pairs of earrings, which I just love. I love hoop earrings, and those are so pretty and cool. Um, and then I think, oh, I can't remember if it's Jenny or Feta. It's one of my sisters, I think. I'll find out after. But one of them gave me these necklaces. So I've got this necklace, this one, and this one. And then they also gave me this little extender, necklace extender thingy, which is great because I like them to sit at like a, you know, 
a specific spot and sometimes the chain's too small to do that so I would love those. Becca gave me this little shower speaker so that way I can listen to BTS when I'm taking a shower and also Red Velvet. I just listened to Red Velvet for the very first time like a couple of days ago and I listened to their new album Chill Kill and I'm like I'm obsessed with it. I've already listened to the whole entire album probably like four or five times now and that was literally only a few days ago that I saw that and the reason that I got excited about them in the first place is because we went to the K-pop store in Ontario Mills and there was a big picture of them on the wall and they looked so cute like I loved the little outfits and stuff they had on they looked all girly and pretty and I loved it and so I asked the employee I was like what group is that and she said it's red velvet and then I went over and I saw all their little like albums and stuff and the artwork and everything was all happy and cute and pretty it was so nice which is actually really funny because their new album is like a darker kind of themed thing but I just I loved it so I'm listening to them in the shower too listen to red velvet and bts and then jungkook's album of course my mom got uh my sisters and I each one of these little um heatless hair curler things which I cannot wait to try this because I always use my straightener I like to wave my hair and I feel like if this works that will be so 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 cool so I cannot wait to try this so I got this from my mom from my daughters I got this which I think this set is from Target I'm not 100% sure um and Amanda gave it to me at Christmas and he was like I was supposed to get that to you a while ago so you could open it <laughs> like each one leading up to Christmas but that's okay because now we just open them all at the same time um, and as far as what's in here it looks like there's Ollie some NYX Bioma Dew Puff and Brighten Eye Gel um, EOS Lip Butter Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moisture Deep Conditioner and then an e.l.f. mini power grip primer. But how cute is that? It's from my baby dolls. So I can't wait to get all of those things out of there. And now that Christmas is over, I feel like it's perfectly acceptable to just open them all at one time. So I will do that. So from Emmanuel in my stocking, I also got these little, this three pack of beauty blenders. I got this um, Righteous Butter, Soap and Glory Righteous Butter body lotion. This Soap and Glory uh, hand food hand cream. Keeps focusing on me, sorry guys. And then this Vaseline Hydra Healthy Hand Lotion, which I'm really excited to use this one because it says that it has hydrolyzed keratin in it, which has hydrating lipids um, for non-greasy lotion, 10 times stronger nails in two weeks. And I feel like that's super cool, so I cannot wait to try that one. And then these just smell like heaven. Like, these smell so good, so obviously I can't wait to use these either. And then lastly, and I'm really excited about this too, but Again, I cannot remember who gave this to me. I think it's my mom. It is this um, exfoliating, premium exfoliating mitt. And it is like one of the, um, like the Korean style, like when they like exfoliate their skin and it just kind of like peels off. That's what this is. And I'm kind of scared to use it, but I'm super excited to use it. There's this little QR code if any of you are interested in learning more about this. Um, so you can see like the instruction video if you guys want to pause and scan that but yeah I'm really 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 excited but I'm so scared to try it I might wait till my sisters do it and then I almost forgot to show you guys this thing that my mom gave each of us one it's these little like they look like little chopsticks but this is to eat chips with so <laughs> basically you put them on and then you use this to grab your chip instead of your fingers so that way you don't get like you know, like if you're working or whatever, you don't get chips residue all over your fingers. You just use these. And she got us some chips on Christmas to try these with. And so I was using them. I had chili cheese Fritos and they totally work. Yeah, so got these too. So yeah, that is what I got for Christmas this year. So much BTS, BT21 stuff. I'm so happy about it. Like I just, I just feel so overjoyed when like I look at all of my gifts. I just feel so overjoyed. And like look at this little guy right here. I mean, so cute. I cannot wait to use my BT21 pens. I can't wait to use my keychains. So excited. Oh my my Minyungi tumbler. Ugh, can't wait. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see what it is that I got for Christmas. Did you guys have kind of like a themed present? year where you got like a lot of one type of thing if you did let me know what it was because that's super interesting um i know i don't think i've had a year like this before where i've really gotten a lot of one thing but it just it works for me like i love all this bts stuff again i hope you guys enjoyed your christmas i hope you had a fantastic christmas and you just got to be around people that you love and 
having a really nice wonderful time i hope you enjoyed watching my video um if you did please hit the like button i hope you have enjoyed spending some time with me on my channel if you guys have been subscribed for a while i really really appreciate you if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe i'm really hoping to grow my channel and um, it would really help me a lot if you guys enjoy them if you would please subscribe and then also hit the like button and yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic new year enjoy your new year's eve um have a lot of fun have a lot of safe fun and just have a happy new year thank you so much for watching talk to you later bye